Welcome to another video from the, the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. My name's Tara. I'm Dave. I'm waiting for him to take a drink. You usually do it already. Anyway, we are part-time resellers on Poshmark and eBay. And we will share our closet name on the screen. By we, I mean Dave will do it. And we drink wine in every video, as you might have noticed. What are we having today? Tonight is Ben Marco Malbec. Did we get that from Costco? Yep. So if you have a Costco, you may be able to find this. Came it's pretty from good. Argentina. We've been into South America wines for a couple weeks, trying all those out. So what are we doing today, Dave? Is it a thrift haul? It is. <laughs> Why don't you tell it's the a people that haul. don't know what it is? We're doing a thrift haul. We went to the Goodwill outlet yesterday, and uh, Dave mostly is doing books now. He's um, <clears throat> trying to sell on Amazon, I think, yeah, only. He's trying to build up some inventory. So he left me to handle the clothes, and I don't think he knows most of what I got. So I know a couple this'll of be things. This will be a fun Dave tries to read the tag video. Sweet. You want to start and show what we right got? To it. We got about 30, I think it was 33 pounds of clothing, although I did get a couple household items that were kind of heavy. Cloud Vale, a Wyoming brand. So Looks I, like a really nice uh, jacket. It's a windbreaker. I actually. Size large. It was on, the, on a hanger. It's like in perfect shape. I like Shot the hood. color, but I didn't know the brand, but I figured just, I'd try it thing in the back of your hood. I don't know, but I've got another windbreaker for sale that has the same thing. Maybe it's like to tighten the Tighten face your part. hood? Yeah, that's what it is. It's a, yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, I'm not outside long enough to <clears throat> to need that kind of, <laughs> kind of stuff. Dave picked this out, and I don't actually think it's worth as much as I thought, but it's, it's a... Backwards. Did I put it on backwards? Yeah. It's from, what was the brand called? I forget. Cactus. Cactus. And it says it's a, read that word, cuckoo, cuckoo something? Uh, it's a, yeah, cocoa cooler. Okay, whatever that means. Genuine cocoa cooler. Whatever that means. All right. It's your turn. Oh, yeah. You uh, took mine. Speaking of hats, I got me. I need to wash this, Dave. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Mesh hat. It has somebody's name in the inside. Who whose was it? it was Olivia's. Olivia. <laughs> now it's Dave's. Now it's Dave's. <laughs> I and we got remember that um hat the thing you use for the washer? Yes. We've got Where one of those. It? It's in the it's Do down I still there. Have yeah, it? I've seen it. It's down there. That was in a haul video about a year ago or something, and I still haven't used it. This is probably just for me. It's a soft um sweatshirt by some brand oh it's a oh it's not for me there's a different one that's for me this is lucky lotus so that's a lucky brand label um and it's like i call it slub knit but it's a hooded jacket but it doesn't zip it just ties here but what size was it um well crap there's no size well, crap. Wait, there might be down here. Hold on before you say anything. Well, crap. 2X. I found it. Too. Well, crap. I have a Banana Republic size 4. This is a dress. That's Hound's Tooth. Hound's Tooth. It's a wool blend. And you couldn't wear it because you it would be too itchy. I'm also not a size 4. That's another problem. This is going to be sent to thread up. So, I we have kind of a new strategy uh some things that are kind of boring but still worth money but i don't want to take pictures of or mess with uh i will buy and send a thread up if they're lightweight enough or cheap enough so that probably costs under a dollar and i'll get a few dollars from thread up for it i just don't like this hat on your on your head them's fighting words i mean the hat and the sweater it's busy combo it's busy I don't know what this brand is. Um, I feel like I've heard of it. It's a nice hat. You should buy it. Anybody wants that hat, just let us know. 
Let me know when you are done. Go for it. Susina, maybe? Um, it's a 1X jacket and it's linen, which is why I got it. It has these ties on the sleeves. Nothing, I can't show things um, when we're this close to the camera, but I'm gonna try. But you can see, does it button? I can't even see. Yeah, it buttons. It buttons. It's got like a hem that's got a ruffle kind of. Ruffle hem. <laughs> Why are you just repeating? <laughs> Farm life hat. I didn't see you got this hat. What? It's mesh. Who did that belong to? Oh, uh, I think it was <laughs> Olivia's. It's Newton. Lincoln Outfitter. The third hat's from John. <laughs> I, I've never heard of that, and I did not see him buy that. So I have a plain Speedo bathing suit, so we'll put that aside. I'm going to list my bathing suits in probably February. But it's just a plain halter, women's size 16 bathing suit uh, in excellent condition. doesn't have the, the liner in it, but it looks like it was maybe never worn. What you got? Oh, speaking of bathing suits. Oh, this is a vintage bathing suit. Mainstream, mainstream. I guess so. I don't know the brand. It's just vintage. Can you see the texture on it here? It feels weird. That's why I didn't know if it it's was. It's got a, a texture. Doesn't feel like. But it's cute, and it looks like brand new shape. Like there's none of the fuzzies on the butt. Butt fuzzies. Have we talked about the butt fuzzies before? Let's not talk about butt fuzzies. <laughs> Sheesh. So I will send this to thread up. Uh, Suzanne Betro. I've heard that maybe that's a QVC brand, but I do with not remember tags. if I'm sure. Yeah, it's brand new with tags. It said it was uh, $86. So I will send that right into thread up because it is, it's a polka dot, very thick knit dress, but I, I don't want to mess with pictures of that. Oh, I love this sweater. Caches of Ireland. Pure wool. Look at it. It says Ireland. And there's a house. That's, that's roof. Yeah. Pretty cool. So that's fun to... Oh, wait. What size is it? It may not have a size, but it might under there. Let's see. Uh, we don't know. Size hand wash. Size hand wash. So I've been selling plenty of wool sweaters, but I have never heard anyone say they wear wool sweaters. I don't know who... These people are. I hear lots of people say they cannot wear them hmm. or will not wear them. So who's buying them all? Okay, the... Dave, this is for you. Oh, come on. So this is a Victoria's Secret. Oh, it says Secret by Victoria's Secret. It's a Jeez. back off baby bustier size 38C. It's very secretive. So it's. Got, this, it's got the boning in it. Why all the secrets? I knew, the, this is the boning. boning. That's boning. That's why the Please, secrets? Please, let's move on before you elaborate on that word. Boning? <laughs> this, I think, may go to one of our kids. But J. Crew. It is Extra J. Small. Crew, but um, cool it's print. just a plain tank top. But our girls might wear it. Our girls like... Um, Watermelon, so that'd be good. <laughs> Torrid um, green khaki. These are just from last year, 2018. So they're um, like cross length, I think. Cargo pants size. Where are you sized? Are we, am I like not finding things with size now? Is that my thing? That's your thing. Because there's not a size that I've found yet. You go ahead and I will keep looking. Check this out. <laughs> Any Doctor Who fans out there? Tara is a Whovian. So I found this. I was just looking through some of the hard goods. Trying to find more books. I don't know what this is. And it's this, it opens up and it's got these little drawers that, not drawers, but they like tilt out. So I Googled a uh, Doctor Who jewelry box and they do make them, but this is not it. I wonder if it's for a game. Yeah, it could be like cards. Like cards go in there. Be in there, but I'm going to find some good use for it. 
it, it's still cool decoration. I should put some like uh, Christmas lights around it and it would be a tree substitute. We have a tree. I know. We don't need a substitute. This, oh, I forgot about this. Tree okay. topper. Whoa. I got a 31 bag set. Oh, wow. So 31 is like a. It matches. No, it doesn't match. A company that sells organized, organizing stuff. It's like. Mary Kay with bags, but they're all in cool print. So I don't know what this bag's called, but it's a tote with pockets, really good shape. And then it has this insulated bag. In case you want to take a sandwich. Maybe it's a lunch sack. I don't know. And then it has a wallet that looks like it's never been used. I mean, not a pin mark in it. Oh yeah. It's never been used probably. So all three matching, all three in together, and didn't weigh much, so we'll see how that does. Oh, this is for thread up. Loft with tags. Yep, new with tags. The tweed. Uh, yeah. Seems tweedy. It's like a spring tweed color, and it's but it's a size zero, I think. Yeah, zero petite, but new with tags and doesn't weigh a whole lot. Let me show this before I forget. This is my other hard good. Oh, yeah. It's a really heavy trash can. It's a trash can. But it looks way better than the trash can in our living room right now, so we're going to replace it. And I got some new shades. What, those are Foster Grant or something? No, I hope they clean up because I Yeah, can't I haven't see tried them. to clean them yet. But Dave uh, does not keep track of sunglasses, so there's sunglasses everywhere. They break. That too. So any cheap sunglasses... We buy for Dave. What were you? Oh, Calvin Klein jeans flannel, medium. Okay, so the buttons are on the right. So that's a girl's. No, that's a men's. Buttons on the left are for ladies. Right. Or, there's no There's no word for that. I don't. Okay, so it's just a flannel. But yeah, it has this on the back. I always do like that. So I thought that was kind of neat. That's why I got it. Buttons are on the right? For men. That's men's then. Yeah. Medium. Men's medium. Now we're all on the same page. We are. 74. Page 74. All right. This is a hoodie. That's from... my hoodie. That's the one that's for me. Uh, What was that brand? Something balance. Harmony balance. Harmony balance. It's like the same exact material yeah, as the other one. thin. But this one zips and it has like this extra thing on the hem. That's it's a thin. waffle, waffle the knit hem. thermal Ooh, yeah. at the, on the hem. It's in the, the hoodie as well. The hood. The hood of the hoodie. It's in the hood. So we'll see. Just like the boys. If that fits me. Okay, I got a Harley Davidson men's shirt. Large. It's rayon. And it's all over Harley Davidson. Well. Writing word. Oh, and there are little motor, not little, but there are motorcycles too. We'll see how that does. I've sold almost every Harley Davidson thing I've ever tried to sell. Mostly my mom buys them. Uh, is that a W or a K? It's Citizens of Humanity. Citizens of Humanity, okay. <laughs> That's an H, I believe, that you're looking at. I'm a citizen of humanity. I got a couple pairs of jeans. Uh, they're all they're both like boot oh, yeah, cut, but the they're back. they're um not a large, large size, but they're not a size two. I think these are the 29s or 30s. 29, I think. 29. Size 29. Nailed it. Uh, here's another pair of jeans I got. Oh, you might keep these, Dave. They're BKE, which is from the buckle, and they're men's straight leg Seth. So, and they, they smell like they've been washed, although I will wash them again. They've got... Like not, they're not blingy. Too bad. So Dave might wear them. Maybe. Maybe. You ruin all your jeans. We gotta see how, <laughs> see how many pairs you, you can wear in public everything. right now. You ruin everything, Dave. You, he's hard on stuff, which no, it's, it's a good thing we. <laughs> um, gee, I'm hard on things. <laughs> Sorry. Say hard on one more time. No. <laughs> this size large. Turn it around. The back is like fly away. Back. Don't fly away. Really light. It smells like it's been washed too. Another Harley Davidson top for the ladies Another? now. 
Yep. Ooh, cool. And it's in very good shape. It's like a tattoo or something. Large. There's the front. Tattoo it's like flash. A, do you call this baseball? Do you call it raglan? What do you call that? Probably both. I should probably use both words. But yeah, it's baseball, like maybe worn uh, once. Really like no pilling, no wear. Good shape. What do you got there? Oh, this will go to thread up. Lightweight. Halogen, size so small. Plain. Really intricate. <laughs> it's knit. Knit. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool. Can I have some more wine? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what that else? That smelled like it had been washed. <laughs> There's many things there that smell like they were never washed. Or pee. <laughs> okay, I have a bikini from uh, Nike. I will sell these together, even though they're slightly different sizes, but like the bottoms are an eight and then the top, which is halter is a 10. So if you're slightly bigger on top and you want a very nice Nike bikini, I mean, yet again, looks like it's maybe been worn once. This is for me. Old Navy. I just needed a, you know, plain white tank to wear under stuff. You got it. Thank you. I'll this. this. Uh, this, uh, no, I'll try to sell this. So I found soft surroundings pants, brand new with tags. Soft surroundings. They are size 12 tall. They were at the Goodwill store and nobody bought them. Soft surroundings. So they'll probably sell for 30 bucks. Brand nice. new, brand new. Like dress pants, straight leg. Yeah, I, I didn't show it in the, in the, uh, for all mankind, and some more. So I, is it seven? It's seven for all mankind. That's seven. a different brand. <laughs> I thought it was. That's a different brand. Oh, yeah. That was hu citizens of, of humanity. humanity. Humanity and mankind are <sighs> different words. Yeah, they are. For all mankind. So these these are 30, I believe, and they are, um, are they straight leg? What was that style? Straight leg. Straight leg. Dark wash. But they're, again, very good shape and size 30. So maybe twenty dollars, and it'll probably take four years to sew them. That's how jeans go for me. I love this sweater, but I also won't wear it. This one's just acrylic though, but it's still not soft enough. What's mine? Look at that. T Terry, what's my sweater? I think your sweater's also acrylic uh -oh. or polyester. I can what check does that the tag. Sweater so this is Westchester Classics, and Dave's gonna probably spout off. A lot of syllables whenever I say Westchester or Westchester Tinfieldville. <laughs> it's a place I like to visit, Westchester Tinfieldville. There's that vintage tag, size large, but it's like a intarsia, intarsia. knit. Intarsia. Fair Isle. No, Fair Isle. See, I and I've knit a lot and I still got those mixed up, but this is more <clears throat> Fair Isle, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I'd say more Fair Isle. Dave. You don't know. Where's my cup? It's right there. Thank you. What's this here? It's a bathing suit. The whole thing? Yeah, it's a This is the whole thing? Oh, wow. It's hey, Not much more to coverage it. than a lot of other suits I've seen. So this is Victoria's Secret. What are you doing here? You, could you were supposed to hold the top part and I was... Oh. <laughs> it's like a monokini. See? Monokini. Yeah. Learning new things. So it's Victoria's Secret and I lost the size. The whole back side is pretty empty. Where's the size? There uh, it is. Okay. Size there's small. There's the small print. There you go. Uh, um, I think I'll send this to thread up too. It's Coldwater Creek size six. But they seem to take all the Coldwater Creek I send and price it at about $30. Whoa. Yeah. It's just a jacket. And it's, wow. what is that? I mean, what do you call it? Woven tapestry kind of look. You can see it's shiny. Yeah. I'm like, it's very it's, busy. It's real lightweight, even though it's woven. It's not like a heavy tapestry kind Ooh. of thing. Well, I don't have to figure out how to describe it. I'm just going to mail J. it. J. Crew size double zero. Yeah. Sheer. I need to wash it. It's a silk. Probably one of those uh, boy shirts or something, but the the armpits are dirty. So mm. I'm gonna t attempt to wash silk and not ruin it, but even if I ruin it, it's very it lightweight and- Seems really heavy. 
Yeah, it didn't cost much. And another pair of jeans. What did I get? I didn't know I got three. Oh, not your daughter's jeans, Barbara boot cut. Now see, I just listed a pair of not your daughter's jeans today that's a regular boot cut. And I determined that the Barbara boot cut is really expensive, like a hundred and some bucks. Barbara, tell me new. more. So the used ones are selling for like 40. So we'll see if the Barbara boot cut does well. The others I listed are also 12, so maybe somebody will buy both. Oh, this is nice. Woolrich? Woolrich. Woolrich. Is that Outdoor. how you pronounce R-I-C-H? Rick? Yeah, yeah. I found this at the very end Richie of the day, Bobby. but look at that. That's pretty cool. But it is wool, right? Yeah. I do need to try to wash it. It's got some size large spots. But it, look, it's embellished with beads. Oh, there's some beads up here. Yep. Oh, they're like, like um, oh, this pine is, cone. This is embellished too. Can you see that? Little pine Somebody cone. Somebody threw that back probably because of the stains. But wool, wool rich wool sweaters I've sold a lot of. I say a lot. I'm like three, four. I don't remember. But that's the coolest one I've found. Several. Maybe you several. That's the cool. I like to say a lot. Sounds better. Lot. I think I'll send this to thread up. It is New L.L. Bean size eight. But yes, it's new with tags. But it's just a plain green khaki skirt. So somebody, somebody will like that. I'll send it to thread up and I'll make three, four dollars and won't have to mess with it anymore. Banana Republic skirt. I know the oh. difference between skirts and dresses now. <laughs> it's a tough one. Denim skirt. Pretty uh, pretty plain. So I may send that in also, or I may try it on. Size 10. Because it's size 10. Does it have years on it? Resin rents. I don't know what that means. But I may also just send it in. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, this is a brand new pair of Victoria's Secret, like, underwear. Oh. And they're, like, really high-waisted and lacy. But they are brand new. That's why I got those. Interesting. Size large, if you want to know. The back is ruched and sheer. The whole thing is pretty sheer, actually. Oh, that's for our girls. You don't have to show that if you don't want. It's just a sports bra for sports children. Bra. <laughs> I got a pair of Yogalicious leggings, which is a brand I know of because I've had a pair. Yogalicious. And they're medium. They're teal. And these are uh, like cropped length, calf length, and they have this um, like Ooh. ladder detail on them. Nice. They're very soft, very good condition. They'll probably sell for like 20 bucks. This is oh, next this year's <laughs> Halloween costume. My prison outfit. Four days. Do you have a bunch more? I'll probably. No. Use this next year for something. Halloween. Yep. It's Not the going only to prison. thing you're allowed to use that for. <laughs> Not for going to prison. <laughs> the last thing. I need to soak this. And hopefully it brightens up and, and such. But I found a Gunny Sacks dress. So sheer oh, wow. sleeves. That's dainty print. Maxi length. What's so, the thing with gunny sex? They're just real popular. I mean, I remember hearing this term when I had a clothing store 20 years ago, but they're real popular like right now and they're selling $100, $150. This one's by Jessica San Francisco. So it's not the gunny sex. Um, there's another person Tear. that's conjoined with it sometimes. It's not one of those. Jessica no. McClintock. So this is Jessica San Francisco, which may be related, but not exactly the same line. So there you go. But yeah, you can see that it needs washed, soaked. So that was my best thing I found, just in a big, huge pile. Well, that wasn't too bad of a haul. Do we have bad hauls? Not usually. <laughs> okay. Glad this met your standards. Me too. <laughs> Well done. Now I'll get to go through all the books I got. Tara found a bunch of um, 
music, sheet music, sheet music for me. Books that, of sheet music. I've and sold some of that already. Song books. For a lot more than you would think you could sell it for. So that's that's it. That's the first haul we've had in like two months or something. You are so close to the camera, dude. I'm Dave. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> A so, close and personal with Dave Stutes. Is that going to be our new series? No. We could do that. We could do an interview setting oh, where no. I ask the important questions. The important questions. There'd be like five. What? What's the one important question, Dave? How's the weather where you are? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I want to know how the weather is where you're at because it, it's crap here. Hey, it's at least it's not snowing. It rained all day. Yeah, it's great. So, Indiana, December, I'll take rain over snow anytime. No, it's just, it's even more depressing. Like, if it's going to precipitate, it should be snow. The rain sucks. It's just depressing. But we'll we'll carry on. How's the weather in your neck of the woods? At least I, um, I got a... Festive shirt? Festive. You got to keep, you got to stay festive for two more weeks. Festive. I think you're going to run out of festive. I'm um, not going to run out of festive. We're just not, we won't, we won't run out of wine, but we'll run out of cheer. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. All right. So that's, that's our haul. That's our video. We, um, talk to us if, in the comments. We yes. like, we like the, we try to talk back. We like back talk. Don't talk back to me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more hauls, more Cheers. stuff about thrifting, and more of Dave's burning questions. I'll have another question thought of by the next video. It'll probably be weather-related, though. That, that's true. All right. Good night. Good night.